What's going on world? It's your boy Big Chips here and it is cold this morning. It's actually really, really cold. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about just making sure you're making measurable goals. It's the second part to our series in SMART goals. So stick with me and we will go over it. It's cold outside. Did I tell you that? I'm actually here walking. Uh, I got to get my knee in shape because I'm getting ready to go to Arizona where we're going to be hiking in the desert. So make sure my knee is up to uh, par, so to speak. But uh, beautiful, beautiful out here. So this is perfect case and point scenario for me because today we're talking about making measurable goals and. You know, we had specific goals the last time. Now it's making goals that are attainable. You know, you may have, what we like to do is make a long-term goal. Something that is your realistic future, what you want to do, where you want to be. And then from that point, you get yourself to the situation where you say, okay, this is my 10-year goal. When I attain this, I know that I've reached success. I know where I need to be and I'm where I, where I wanted to be. I'm happy, I'm successful, boom. So from that point, it's to chunk it down. You know, it's the power of chunking. Get all this stuff into smaller bites and start accomplishing it. So for me, really, measurable goals means things that you know that you can accomplish to get the tasks taken care of. You wouldn't look at like, say you're cleaning and you're doing like a million dollar day and you look at this room and you go god this thing's a mess i need to clean it what are you going to do first all right you know the you know the main goal you see the end objective but what are you going to do first so and that that's kind of the way you do with all your goals and you you kind of chunk it down a little bit into smaller bites and sizes so that you can get it to a more manageable situation and it's key in what we're doing because when you when you do that and you're living life in a way of attainable goals accomplished goals you tend to get a little bit happier right you tend to have like a sense of accomplishment okay so it's good for keeping the morale up it's good for making sure you accomplish what you're doing and it's good for just make sure it help you get stuff done and I think that's the key point here, is measurable goals help you to make sure you accomplish the big goal. Because you got to have these smaller ones and you got to have a measurable where you can actually determine like a length of how long it's going to take you to do it to get the situation set out and set up where you actually can accomplish everything you set out to do. So SMART Goals Part 2, M, and that's Measurable Goals. And this has been a message from your boy Big Chips from businesschips.com.